Good morning, meteorologist Amanda Pappas. We're your hurricane headquarters. Right here, right now, we have two different areas of development that I want you to pay close attention to. The first one, what we see, this one area right here, anywhere shaded in orange is where we can see a low pressure system pop up. Good probability of that, 60% over the next week. However, that system is not going to be bothering us anytime soon. It'll be what we call a fish storm, staying out there in the Atlantic, not affecting land. However, over towards Central America for the Caribbean, the, this is the area, this is the one that we want to keep a close eye on. Right now, over the next week, low end probability development. However, what we do know is that we already see a good amount of those water temperatures very warm. So our tropical hazards outlook looking really high for this portion of the Caribbean. So you see all these arrows, that means it could go any which way. Now, what I want you to keep your eye on the ball with is over towards the Yucatan Peninsula by Cuba, right? Right in that Caribbean right there. That is where we see that orange circle, right? That is that probability. We could see something pop up in the Gulf come into next week. And we don't know just yet, of course, because it's so far out what exactly is going to happen. But the American model that was more accurate with Debbie is showing that we could have a system potentially <laughs> impact Florida next week. But take a look, the European showing something completely different. So I'll show you guys when these get in better agreement what we can expect, but always a good idea to have that kit ready to go and stay prepared.